The whole process starts choosing an image. This will be ours today. First off is the mount board. The mount board acts as an additional border within the frame, as well as helping to protect the image from dust or damage. An outline of the image is first drawn and then cut out with a stand glue. The blade leaves a 35 degree angle, cut along the inside of the mount board, so it fits easier onto the image. The outline is then cut out and stuck to the front of the image with tape, then giving us our mount board. Next is the frame mold. A frame mold is a pre-designed 3 meter long length of wood and comes in a variety of styles, colours and grain. After a particular mold is chosen, it is then measured and cut to size. The wood is cut at a 45 degree angle, called a midder cut. After four lengths have been cut, they are held in place at their midder ends in a set of clamps. The clamps hold the pieces together, while the corners are then joined together with V-nails. giving us our solid frame. Next, 2mm glass is measured against the frame and cut to size. The glass is then placed in a frame with the mount board and image. A backing is then measured and cut from MDF board before being bolted to the frame, holding the frame together from front to back. Tape is then added for an extra finish. Also, some hooks and string are added so that the picture can be hung up. And all this leaves us with our final finished frame. And now you know how it's made.